Exactly. When we come back, Olympic gold medalist swimmers Maya Dorado, Connor Dwyer will join us coming off of the Rio Games. And the Dow up 90 points, as we said. SP is about a point away from an all time high. We're back in a minute. I'm still waiting for Dow and DuPont yeah. approval. Yeah. It's, it's get the opening bell here in the SP at the bottom of your screen. At the big board, as we said earlier, U.S. gold medal swimmers from the Rio Olympics, Maya Dorado and Connor Dwyer. Congratulations to them. We'll talk to them in a couple of minutes. Over the NASDAQ, silicon provider Silicon Labs celebrating its 20th anniversary. Swimming on TV is one of the great sports, isn't it? Members from Team USA swimming team rang the opening bell a few moments ago here at the NYSC. And joining us at Post 9 this morning, gold medalist swimmers Maya Dorado and Connor Dwyer are with us, guys. Welcome. Welcome home. Thank you. Congratulations on everything. I just got to say at the start, thank you for giving the country so much to be proud about. I mean, because you guys just crushed it. Are you aware of that sentiment? It's starting to kind of set in as we get to see people back here in the States and just the excitement that people felt for the Olympics. We're so happy that we were able to bring those feelings. <laughs> the gloom was lifted in the country for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Uh, we tried to we tried to make some people proud and uh, give you guys something to cheer about. How do you come down from that? I've, I've seen all these write-ups about how it's like Christmas for an athlete for 17 days, and then you got to go back to this nine to five lifestyle. I mean, how do you how do you begin that process? She's starting the nine to five. Lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going oh, back to see, training. No, not nine to five. She's working at McKinsey. It's nine to nine. You're lucky. It's <laughs> Actually, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. No more naps for her. No more naps. <laughs> what, what is the plan with McKenzie? Are you going to go right there? Are you going to wait? No, so they were amazing. Called me after the games and were like, we imagine things are a little different for you now, so if you want to push it back a little bit. So I'm going to start in January now. Um, really? Just so I have time to kind of decompress, do things like this, and um, and then be full bore in January when I start. Do you have ideas of what kinds of things you want to work on when you're there or the type of clients you would want to work for? So I think you know at the beginning they just show you everything but I would love to get into some public sector work and work in um, education specifically I think there's a lot of room for improvement there no I, you know we got to talk about the endorsement issue um, but I'm particularly interested because Phil Knight was on Mad Money not that long ago and what he explained to me was that they never made a deal that it wasn't great for them and that people who think that endorsements don't work they really do yeah I don't know I mean, it seems like I, you, you know, uh, when you see these companies like Speedo, whatever, uh, it, it, it occurs to me that Americans like to buy what athletes wear. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're fortunate recipients of that. Um, you know, I have BMW as one of my sponsors, and I was like, really, me? But, you know, I'm sure someone has done the research, and they've figured it out. But we, I'm really honored to be representing BMW and Speedo, and um, I feel like I've partnered with really great companies. Connor, how do you begin? To, you're you're going to do Tokyo, I assume. Yes, yes. yes. So um, how, does the, how soon does the active preparation for that begin? I've already done a few workouts, actually, after the Olympics, <laughs> but I'll stay out of the pool for uh, three weeks to a month, and then I'll hop back into training in L.A. Uh, pretty soon. What do you think Tokyo is going to be like? Everybody's now talking about the, the time difference, and we're going to do several games in Asia starting and for our parents. I think they're going to crush it. Um, yeah, I've heard they're, they're already well prepared, but who knows? You know, the, the media will like to, to bring something down and scare us uh, before it starts, so who knows what that is? Well, not all of us. <laughs> Let me ask you, look, maybe it's just my impression, but have swimmers, uh, after swimming, done better than most other sports? I, I was in, at the NFL, recently visiting a training camp at the NFL, and they're all worried about what happens after football. I, not that many people seem to be worried about what happens after swimming. You guys have a good record as a as being business people after. That's a that's a great point. I think um, you know swimmers learn so many great skills through the sport, and you have to do time management, and you're working super yeah. hard to balance your school and your swimming, you know, throughout your whole life. And so I think it kind of lends itself to making the transition really well to life after swimming, and that you know how to work hard and be yeah, really focused. Yeah, day starts at 5 a.m. and yeah. ends at 6 p.m. So we're used to the grind. Mm -hmm. When you're in the water, and we talked a moment ago yeah. about how NBC has outfit, how the the Olympic yeah. committees have put all these cameras in the pool. Do you see them as you're swimming? This yeah, camera yeah, you see them moving you? under yeah. you. Is it distracting? I had a moment where it was distracting, where they put it. I was going into the turn at the far wall, and there was a camera like 
right there. And so if I had swum closer to the lane line, like I would have hit it. And that was a little shocking. But other than that, you're pretty used to it at yeah. this point. That was the money shot. When I saw yeah, it, I was like, how did get that? <laughs> what, yeah. What's Tokyo going to be like without Phelps and Lochte? Um, who knows? Maybe maybe they'll both be back. But uh, <laughs> I think there's a lot of young young talent in our team that will help uh, carry carry the role of uh, winning a lot of gold medals. When, I mean, I don't want to be be beleaguer the lofty stuff, but are you guys, is the team mad, shaking your head? What's what's the overall emotion regarding what happened with his situation? I would say just a little bummed, you know, bummed for, for him, bummed for our sport that that was the story. When we had such an incredible week the first week, it was a record medal haul for us. And then for the athletes in the second week that got overshadowed, you know, they worked four years for their moment, and then that's the story. We're, we're definitely bummed, but I think people, people were remember the first week and how excited it they gets were. It's forgotten over time. Is it fade? I think it'll fade. Yeah. Uh, he, he made it'll a mistake fade. and I think he'll bounce back. Have you guys ever run the opening bell or even been here before? No, this is a first for me. I've been here before with um, Tom Farley. Uh, he's oh, yeah. taking me around. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's great. Well, I've Man got uh, my executive producer's uh, husband went to Loyola Academy. Go Ramblers. Go Ramblers. <laughs> here we go. Congratulations. <laughs> those are gorgeous, by the way. Thank uh, you. Those, those medals. Uh, we'll be watching you at McKinsey and, and in Tokyo, guys. Uh, Mario Dorado. Thanks All for right. having Thank us. Yeah. When we come back, we'll get stopped trading with Jim. Dow's up 92. Don't go away.